I'm sure most of you watching this video have seen Geo Rainbolt's infamous 0.01 second rounds in TikTok. They're really impressive stuff to see, and we're going to be attempting that on the video today. So how this is going to work is we're going to have five rounds that we need to get the country correct in. We're going to start off with five second rounds, and every time we get five countries in a row correct, we're going to move down to even quicker rounds. So we're going to start off with five second rounds, one second rounds, 0.5 second rounds, 0.1 second rounds, 0.0. 0.05 second rounds, 0.01 second rounds, and then we're just gonna just add a bunch of zeros until we can't do it anymore. And if you're wondering what a 0.01 round looks like, it's this. So basically you have to take that information, figure out where you are in the world, try to get as close as possible. What we're gonna be doing is just trying to get the country correct. We're gonna see how low we can get until we physically, our eyes cannot even comprehend the pictures. Here we go. Modify this number above to change the time. All right, five seconds. Refresh the page here, and we're ready to go. Diverse world, five seconds should be plenty of time. We're gonna start off, all we need to get is five in a row. This is gonna be Uruguay. We've got uh, these trident poles with this kind of uh, lines. Uruguay for round one. Pretty straightforward. We don't need to get location. I guess we'll try for, uh, for this stuff. This will be Russia with all these bollards here, very flat. Uh, pretty easy Russia we've got Chinese characters here and we got our Taiwan pole here so another easy round for Taiwan so far everything's going pretty good I just woke up so my eyes are kind of adjusting this is kind of a warm-up round what is wait white white line what's are we driving on okay I kind of jinxed myself uh <laughs> Malaysia it seemed Asian. The yellow box is on the side. I don't know what that was, but it kind of looked Malaysian to me. We'll go Malaysia. Indo. Okay, let's let's try that one more time. This is a warm up. I, I literally just ate Honey Nut Cheerios about, I woke up about five minutes ago. All right, buckling down right here. Okay, easy. Um, South Korea, let's go Northeast. Okay, that's fine, doesn't matter. This should be Botswana. Yeah, this will be Botswana with this kind of dry landscape. Here we go. Let's just kind of speed through this. Ooh. This should be Philippines or Indonesia with those chevrons. I think this is more Philippines. I don't see Indonesia doing that very often. Okay. Kind of in the mountains. I don't I don't get that mountain feel more uh, in Indo like I do in Philippines. I get that a lot in Philippines. And we'll get Canada here. Seems like almost Newfie. It's a weird Newfie. I'm not super set on Newfie. Could be Quebec, but definitely gonna be Canada. Okay, that's fine, Quebec. Oh wait, we have one more round? Rip, okay, Taiwan. Okay, five seconds are done. Very exciting stuff. And we have now entered one second mode. All right, so it's gonna be about five times faster, but I feel like I've woken up five times as much. So I, I think I'll be okay. I didn't really need five seconds on the other rounds anyways. One second should be more than enough time. We got a French bollard there. That's fine. It looked it looked pretty French anyways. Kind of the farmland and everything. Europe, Eastern Europe. I would almost go Hungary, Serbia, Romania, maybe Bulgaria, but I think Serbia is my favorite one of those. We'll just rip a Serbia like that. Okay. And this should be Norway with these uh, single lines. Pretty green. Let's do it. South Norway. We have two more. Ew. Oh, God. Uh, What was that yellow and black thing I saw? Very dry. Is it dumb to go Russia here? Like a Russian road. And Russia's big. I think we'll just go Russia. Brazil. All right. I don't think I ever in this universe would have gone Brazil on that. Let me know if that yellow and black thing was an actual uh, meta that I'm missing. All right, here we go. Uh, driving on the on the right, and we had Cambodian on the side. My camera might have hidden it, but this will be Cambodia for round one. That's an Ecuador, um, an Ecuador shield, and it looked very Ecuadorian anyway. So very nice. I like it. Very red dirt double yellow center line so this should just be brazil okay two more and this should be we had double white lines with yellow diamond 
or not diamond, the yield sign, or whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, should be just Greece. And one more. And this will be Japan with the bollards. We'll just go there. Okay, five in a row with one second. We are now entering 0. 0.5 second territory here. Okay, this is where you really have to focus. 0.5 is kind of, that's where it starts getting really difficult. I don't know what I'm gonna start looking at. I think road lines uh, is usually what I typically do. And then like, kind of like a glimpse at the landscape. So, but here we go, 0.5. Okay, didn't get any road lines, but I saw some landscape. It looked uh, European, it looked kind of like Austria region, um, maybe Switzerland, maybe Italy too. If I had to pick, I would probably go Italy, second Austria. Kind of like in Northern Italy vibes. Bhutan was gonna be my third guess. I was actually, that was actually the easiest Bhutan I think I've ever had. All right, first round jitters, totally fine. Let's try it again. Our eyes are adjusting. All right, so here we go. I saw a D sign there. D road sign is France. So pretty easy France there, that's fine. I caught it just at the last second. All right, here we go. Yellow road lines with that white car. Are we in like a weird island country? White car, that almost looked like Curacao or like a Dominican Republic. We might be in like a weird outskirts of Dominican Republic. It did not feel like Mexico or Brazil. All right, we're gonna do Dominican Republic. Wow, I like that. I'm very happy with that one. I think that's gonna give me, that's gonna give me the confidence here. Here we go, ready? Okay. It's definitely going to be Ireland, UK, France. I think I'm just going to have to go UK. It's very thin road, so I don't think it's France. And I don't know for sure if that was an Irish house. So I think we're just going to play it safe with UK. I think we'll just go United Kingdom. Oh, Northern Ireland. So we're good there. All right, one more. Focus. Here we go. Okay, that should almost for sure be America. I don't think there's any way this is uh, Canada. Unless I'm gaslighting myself again. I think this is probably maybe like an Arkansas, Missouri. There is a little bit of hills there. No, uh, I don't know. doesn't matter. Kentucky. We got Panhandle, Florida. Oh, wait, do we have one more round? F. Let's try it again. One more. We can get through this. Oh, that's so... I don't know what that is. It looked... It almost felt South African to me. I think that truck was on the left side of the road. I got cocky. I got cocky and I thought I was done. Um, I'm just gonna have to go South Africa. We'll go Pretoria. Might be the easiest South Africa round I've ever had in my life. 21K with some pretty big countries in here. I messed up a UK round. This was clutch. I like that. This was ultra clutch. <laughs> this was a save. What an interesting set of five rounds. Okay, what is next? I'm ready, give me more. 0 0.1 seconds. It's at this point where typically people stop believing that this is legit runs. But I'm hope hopefully this is kind of bridging the gap that you're seeing the process, your, your eyes are kind of adjusting. I'm not getting them all right, even though that last round was kind of insane. So you kind of, what I kind of do here is I look at kind of the center, maybe a little bit more downwards so I can see the road lines. And then in my peripherals, I kind of try to see everything in the outline. That's kind of what I usually do. So here we go. <sighs> Okay, I think that was a white guardrail on the left side here. So I think we are in uh, Japan. Oh, was that 0 0.1 seconds? That felt really fast for 0 0.1. I think I just have to get adjusted. Um, Yeah, it should just be Japan. All right, there we go. All right, let's try that again. That felt really quick. I got to adjust my eyes a little bit here. Okay, uh, there might have been Thai script on that sign. We had those bollards, which is Indonesia Thai. Felt like a lot more Thailand than Indonesia. I think we might be in Northern Thailand region. That is solid. I will take those all day. All right, here we go. Okay, this is Russia or Ukraine, 100%. Oh man, that road felt very Ukrainian with the kind of those kind of pothole fixers are very common in Ukraine, but the landscape felt more Russian. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Russia, even though it has a good chance of being Ukraine. Oh, it was Ukraine. Oh, I might've been, I don't I guess I missed the trees. 
because this does feel very Ukrainian to me. So, okay, that's fine. We run it back. Whew, all right, focus. Ooh, what side were we driving on? Double yellow center. It almost looked like Mexico again, or Brazil, actually. I'm gonna go Brazil. Yeah. It felt a little bit more tropical than that, so. Okay, here we go. Single center line with a bike. It felt like there was a pretty decent amount of green there. So I'm thinking this could just be Canada. I don't think it's America either. Okay, nice. Just need three more. Here we go. Red dirt. It almost felt like African red dirt. It almost felt like Eswatini, to be honest with you. We had those pine trees, and I think there was long grass with red dirt. I'm gonna go with my gut here. It's a risky Eswatini guess. But, you know, it looks nice when it happens, you know? Look at that. Round four. I saw a meta on our car, and it was African. I, I think it was the Ghana car? What other cars we got? I don't think it was Senegal. It wasn't Uganda. And I don't think it was Kenya. I think we're just in Ghana. It was the Senegal car. I uh, trusted the meta too much, but I didn't see any rifts in the sky. Yeah, the dirt, it's more sandy. I didn't really catch the sand too much. There's your rifts. Hello. It's a journey. All right, here we go. Felt like Malaysia. I don't know what side we were even driving on, but it felt like Malaysia. Round two. Ooh, this is gonna be, I think I saw like the South American kind of fences. So I think we're just gonna be in Colombia or Ecuador. Let's go Colombia. Very nice. Round three. This should just be, uh, ooh. I might be gaslighting myself, but everything looked a little bit more American, except I think I saw a white post, a white wooden post on the right. I, I, like, I got it at like the very last millisecond that I thought it was white, which is, you see a lot in Sask and Alberta. Don't get a lot in the US. Wow. I wanna see if that post was actually white after this round, but round four. Such a brutal round. Um, France, Italy, I think it feels more French than me. Oh my God. We take those. We definitely take those. All right, one more round. That's actually a pretty good guess in France, too. All right, one more round here. Let's go. Focus. That's Japan. That is northern Japan. Let's go Hokkaido. All right, that's still fine. We still take those. All right, Country Chic of Five. Not the most graceful. With, we got 20K. And it's, you know, there were some good rounds in there. If you thought that was bad, bam. 0 0.01 seconds. I know I can do this. I've done it before. I just, it's, it takes a lot of tries. I feel pretty good. My eyes are kind of adjusted. I'm, maybe your eyes have adjusted too. Let's go. Okay. White, solid white line. Uh, truck on the right. It felt more Polish, Czech, Slovak. I would go Poland because it's bigger. Actually, to be honest, it does feel more Czech. It's not as big as Poland, but it just felt more Czech. Okay. That is the first round of the day. <laughs> first point zero point zero one. That's what happens is you, you usually, you guys are seeing the behind the scenes of my TikToks here, which is basically, you know, you kind of go quick and then when you mess up, you just restart it back. But here we go. Kenya snorkel. We take those. There's one. Round two. Are we driving on the left or the right? Yeah, okay. It kind of felt like, I don't know, I wasn't getting super Australia vibes, but I thought we were driving on the left, so. Round three. Ooh, a blue sign with winter coverage. Very thin roads, so I don't think it's uh, here. I think we're just in Finland. I think I saw some a lot of birch trees, so. There we go. Okay, come on now. Two more. Ooh, this is Lesotho. This actually gets mega Lesotho vibes with that grass. I'm pretty confident with that one. There we go, right on the edge. Okay, one more. Here we go. 
And this is Japan. We got that kind of orange yellow uh, road line. And there we go. 21,000. This is where now we are officially going into uncharted territory. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, 0 0.05. Here we go. All right, here we go. First round of 0 0.005. Okay, that was the first round. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't that bad at all. I was pretty confident we were in this region, so I think we're gonna be okay. Let me try that again. All right, here we go. I mean, this is France. Okay, I don't think that 0.01, maybe the code doesn't go below 0.01, because that felt exactly like the same time. Well, let's try it again solid white line i think we're just in japan okay it feels like the exact amount of time as 0 0.01 i don't think the code goes below because i it doesn't feel that i thought that was going to be impossible for me but it feels pretty straightforward it feels the exact same as 0 0.01 if i'm being honest with you maybe maybe i'm crazy okay wait just for fun since I don't think there's that much of a difference. I think that's definitely gettable. What I want to do here is let's go to 0 0.001. Let's get really spicy here. Now, this is where it's, I mean, a tenth of the time. So there should be a noticeable difference. And now this will be the first 0 0.001 attempt. Here we go. Okay, this is Japan. There is no difference between, I, I, there's no shot that that was a tenth of the time. I think what was happening is the PC is kind of outputting a frequency and it has to output at a certain minimum point. So I don't think it, go, it goes below that, that threshold. Also, Japan's a very easy country, so. But I don't think, I don't think there's a difference. I mean, maybe there is if you guys know a code that gets below it, but it really, like, okay, wait, let's, let's try this. Let me do one more round here. Uh, like Switzerland or something. Switzerland, Austria, France, kind of that region. And Switzerland. Okay, wait, let's just keep going, just because it's... Uh, Malaysia? Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, maybe Indo. Let's go Malaysia. There's a lot of oil palms. Oh my god. Let's see if we can... Let's... Hold on. Let's really test the waters. Maybe, maybe, let's go... Zero... Point zero zero infinite zero one. Like I'm constantly refreshing the uh, thing too, so I know the code's in there. I know it's got the point zero zero whatever in there. But let's see this round. Okay, yeah, this is I believe that was Pretoria area. There was a white car too, but there was a lot of fences around. Okay, I think the lowest you can go is zero point zero one. We really can't go any lower in blink mode that's pretty cool all right so we're gonna have to make blink mode i guess a little bit harder then we're gonna have to add in we're gonna add in some twists on blink mode looks like exciting stuff anyways if you guys have watched this far in the video i appreciate it please leave a like if you enjoyed it helps out the video and leave a comment letting me know if you have any tips or anything or if you have another video idea and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya